Gardner Smith has been a mystery to me my whole life. Jean Gaeta was one year old when her father vanished in 1963, leaving Jean and her mother behind in California. Realizing that your dad had done that, you're like, why would you do that? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Jean says she never heard from her father after he abandoned the family. She says she was often confused and frustrated by his absence, constantly wondering what happened to him. But the wondering is now over. It's like surreal. Recently, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation used DNA testing and genetic genealogy to identify Gardner Smith, Jean's father, as the John Doe whose body was found on Independence Pass in June of 1970. Investigators are not sure exactly how he died. They do not believe it was suspicious. Why did he fall so hard and derail? Gardner Smith came from a prominent farming family in Northern California. He was a military veteran and a world-class skier, widely considered one of the top American racers of his day. He could have been one of the greats. But his daughter says it's now pretty clear that he also suffered from an undiagnosed mental illness which she says could explain why he was apparently homeless at the end of his life and died alone. He really had so much going on and somehow he just sort of slipped through the cracks and, and just couldn't find his way. Jean says the last few weeks have been a whirlwind of emotions, sadness about the way her father died, but relief and she finally knows what happened to him. The word that really comes to mind is closure, that there isn't this open wound, there isn't this open-ended question the mystery of Gardner Smith. She said she's still hoping to learn more about the last few years of her father's life and exactly what led to his death on Independence Pass. Kim and Tom. I'm glad for her family that she, she got some of that information. You just wonder. It sounds like he had a lot going on in his life in so many good ways, but also troubled. It's been a long journey for Smith's family. It was difficult not knowing all these years. It's a little bit better now. Thanks, Matt.